YouTube friends, how are you? So today I'm going to be doing a glam makeup. So I wanted to do one red, one blue, one gold. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to see these for the holidays. I thought it was super cute. So today I'm wearing the Jackie Ina palette and uh, that's all I used in my eyelids and I'm going to show you a mix of affordable products and um, high end. So if you're new here, my name is Angie. I hope you stay and subscribe for more beauty videos. I upload two to three times a week and without further ado, let's start. So let's start prepping our eyelids and I'm going to be taking the Anastasia um, primer. I don't know so when they're going to take away. I'm putting these e.l.f. Uh, sticky tapes that are meant to do eyeliner but I like to put them on whenever I'm doing like really glam looks because I don't know the edges look super sharp with them. Um, anyway, about the palette, this is what it looks like, I'm sure you have so seen it and probably you already have it. And I want to try to do an all matte look, even though I want to do red, I'm taking the shade Ginger and I'm just going to blow that all over my, um, all over my crease. I may have to dip into another palette if I want to do the look I'm um, thinking but I'm not sure or I may just stick to this palette and then do a shimmer because this red Weekly is super stunning it's really really pretty but it has is a shimmery shade and um, so you don't really get a matte red edges is a little bit of a reddish kind of color but not um, not the red I'm going for Then I'm going to be taking a brush like this, like a blender brush, um, and I'm going to go and do edges, and I'm going to really pack that right onto my crease. So I'm going to pack and blend a little bit. Something like this. So really packing on that color. And it darkens quite nicely as you can see. Then I'm gonna take my E25 and I'm gonna go onto the shade uh, credit and I'm gonna put that angled a little bit onto my outer V. Just to smoke it out a little bit. All right, and now, because this, there isn't any way around it, I'm just gonna keep using this palette so I don't have to dip into anything else. I'm gonna um, go onto the shade um, Wiggle Leaves and I'm gonna put that in the center of my eyelid. But not really touching my inner corner. Then 
And now in the inner part of my eyelid, I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to do a half a cut crease. And I'm taking my Elf Camel Concealer. I really like that concealer to um, cut in my crease because I feel like it's really um, fake and sticky. And then I'm going to be taking this Elf Brush from the Novella um, Collection. there and then with my finger I'm gonna blend that edge so it isn't super harsh like that and then I'm gonna put on I'm gonna clean this concealer brush and um, I'm gonna place the shade Sam which is a glittery kind of shade I'm gonna wet this brush a little bit because um, it's pretty glittery and I don't want a lot of fallout. This look took, uh, took a turn, definitely. This wasn't what I envisioned whenever I start to film, but that's okay. I was gonna do a normal matte look. But this Sam shade is so pretty. And then I'm gonna go back and do Weekend Lee again because I lost most of that color and then blend those two together. I'm gonna take a more precise brush like this with the shade Ginger, and I'm just gonna go higher to blend this edge. And I'm actually going back to credit and put it back again. I felt like I lost that brown, that smokiness. So let me finish up my other eye and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are semi done. Let's um, continue with the face and then uh, we'll finish them um, off. So just taking out that, that tape, you see what I meant? Anyway, today I'm going to be using this primer from e.l.f. This is their Blurring Serum Primer. And I love this primer so far. I've tried it recently, maybe like a month ago or so, and I've been hooked. Um, I also like Elf's, um, the other serum primer, the illuminating primer that they have. That was um, my favorite primer all summer, and I used the heck out of that. I think Elf kills it when it comes to primers. This one is supposed to be blurring um, for pores and stuff like that, so... It is quite nice. It feels super lightweight and like not really moisturizing, but just like just really ha uh, lightweight. Today I'm gonna be using my Fenty foundation, Fenty, <laughs> the 300 shade, and I hope this matches me well. Um, this is my summer shade, and now I don't know. Every single foundation is like a little bit too light, of course. Um, 
but we're going to make it work. This one has a great finish. I like it because it lasts a good 10 to 12 hours on my skin and um, I don't look cakey or, um, you know, it just works really well. So I think I'm gonna have to like go down. I mean, it still looks okay, but me that I see it in person is a little bit, just a shade darker. And I, I'm gonna use my Jouer concealer because it's really light, so it's gonna help me lighten my foundation. So I purchased the, what's the name of that thing? The, the new Laura Mercier, um, it's a tinted moisturizer, the new formula that they uh, have, and uh, and I used the Sephora app to match myself. And actually, I you know how you need to pick a foundation uh, to help you match, and I did put Fenty three hundred uh, for reference, and um yeah, that was all wrong. Um, I got it. I wanted to do a review and like sort of like a word test or whatever on it, but I can't. It's just really dark. So I'm not gonna be able to make it work. I'm gonna have to go into store and see a lighter shade. You never realize how tan you wear until winter hits. <laughs> like I didn't know I was so tan and now when I'm putting on like my regular foundations that I thought they were perfect, now they just look, you know, super dark. <sighs> look at that. Amazing. Let's do some really nice contouring. I'm gonna take the Huda. Uh, Tantor Contour maybe. and I've been loving this thing so much it just blends so easy and like even if you mess up and you put too much it's just so easy to blend I'm glad I didn't forget to do this one before I put on my powder because I always do and even though I do that, I always mess up and like set all my face. And then when I'm going with this um, cream thing, it doesn't even um, doesn't even matter because it blends so well that um, that yeah, that I don't need to blend too much. Let's set, and um, I don't really like to set. I don't really like to bake even if I'm going out and it's like hardcore this is my cool John Doe powder I don't really like to put a ton of powder says the girl that is putting a lot just underneath my eyes because this Jouer concealer actually um, like it's supposed to be creaseless but because it's super thick, sometimes if my under eyes are not hydrated enough, I do get some creasing. But I don't really mind it. I love that concealer. It's super glam. Okay, and this was my Collagen Doe um, Natural Lighting Powder. It's a great powder. It, it's like pretty much undetectable. Um, Alright, now let's do... Let's set our bronzer with uh, this um, ColourPop palette. Since I have it here, let's just use it. I'm mix mixing these two shapes. For blush, I'm gonna be taking my Burst Bees um, Bare Peach Blush. This one is actually, look at that. It broke, I fixed it because 
um, it is so pretty if you can see that so it is really peachy but it has the cutest um, I don't know like just a, a really nice glow and whenever I don't know which blush to use I'll just go with this one I find it super easy all right uh, let's do highlight and I'm gonna be taking my MAC palette I feel like I haven't used it in a while and I'm gonna take this shade down here just the golden shade I did a review on this guy this is part of um, Max holiday collection so I'm gonna link it below if you're gonna see it in action All right, now let's work on our lower lash line. I'm gonna take this shade edges and I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna run a dot, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna take credit and I'm gonna do the same closer to my lower lash line. All right, then I'm gonna do so laid in my inner corner. So pretty this shade though. Okay, I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm gonna be using the unlimited mascara and then top bottom I'm gonna do um, eyeliner this one by Colourpop in my lower line Ready, friends, I'm back. Um, the struggle is real, and it took me um, a good five minutes to put on my lashes, but that's real life. And what can you do, right? I'm obsessed with this Dust of Color Charm lipstick, liquid lip. So we're gonna do this one again. What I love about this guy is that I could get away with it um, with no lip liner, so that's a win-win in my book, right? Alrighty, friends, this is it. This is my completed makeup look. This is what everything looks like. Alrighty friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and get ready with me for the holidays. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there. It helps me a lot and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!